Hey my loves, welcome back for another video. If you're tuning in for the first time, I'm Ashley and today we're going to be slaying an 8 inch bob lace wig. She came courtesy of OMG Her Hair. This is the inside construction of the cap and we're literally going to jump right into it. So this here is a new adhesive I've been using as of late and I absolutely love it. Now, you guys, I've been doing this install method for the last couple of installs and trying to figure it out and it dawned on me while I was editing this video why don't I just add the adhesive underneath the lace like I normally would and put it on top the lace that is on top of where I apply the adhesive allow that to dry or get tacky and then cut the lace like why am I doing it on top so next video you'll definitely see me switch up the technique and try that out and hopefully that will work better but in the meantime in between time I did apply the adhesive on top of the lace I kind of let that dry and get tacky customizing the lace around the ear so everything lays flat and flawless and then going in with a little bit of more adhesive and just making sure that everything is going to be bonded super nicely now today i do want to do a nice sideburn so i did opt to kind of pull that out and separate it so that it can be trained to go in like a downward um direction basically the direction you would want your sideburns to go i applied my scarf on top and blow dried it on a cool setting you can also use styling strips if you don't want to use a scarf and now we're going to use an eyebrow razor to go ahead and cut off all of the excess lace So once the lace is down, I did take the rat tail comb and a little bit of extra of that adhesive and I kind of melted the excess areas where you kind of saw white. I made sure everything was laid out super nice and now we're going to opt for a little bit of baby hair. I think the next video I do there will be a no baby hair look because I've been enjoying baby hair way too much and I know it's not a preference for all of you. Here I am. It kind of looks like I'm ripping at my lace and I am. I'm kind of sort of just thinning it out a little bit so it's not too thick now I advise you to use tweezers to go ahead and thin out any area you want on your lace but for me sometimes I kind of use this pull method I especially do this on the sideburns and I find that it works pretty well for me but just be advised that if you try this at home it can tear your lace and there is no repair for that Thank you. 
Now we all know the sideburns are a little bit tricky so I applied a little bit more adhesive, blow dried them on a cool setting and they bonded down just fine. Also I used foam lotion to form the baby hair up top but I did switch over to wax for the baby hair down below as well as the sideburn. Number one, wax is not a water base so it will be easier to apply to these areas without having to worry about the lace lifting up. When you use a foam lotion it will um, possibly make your lace lift because again it is water based. Also I just find that it gives a different hold to baby hair when you use a wax stick. I like both but be advised that wax kind of will give a white film especially if you use too much. For me I used just enough and I did not have that issue. Today we're going with the center part. When you go on the website for this wig, it is a side part wig and I definitely know a couple of divas did slay it very well as a side part but again I wanted a center part today. If I did not mention this one is 180% density, it's Brazilian origin and of course it is a bob lace wig. I believe this one is 8 inches in length and of course I have it linked in the description box for you guys to check out. I do work with OMG her hair um, often so if you want to check out some other videos that I've done for this company be sure to look in the description box for those. You guys know my holy grail heat tool as of late has been the electric hot comb. This is my fave and I like to use it in combination with either a um, wax stick. You guys know I love, love, love my wax. Or I'll use like my shapers which is a holding spray to go ahead and apply to that area that I'm going to hot comb and then, you know, hot comb. So this install was definitely super simple because the hair is straight I'm just going to go ahead and bump the ends. Now I did like about a month ago honestly prep this wig on camera for you guys and I completely lost the footage so we are starting from scratch. Um, I do want to note that I did go ahead and co-wash the wig. Um, I put it on a mannequin head and I had formed baby hair and I just did a whole prep work for this wig again in the past but I lost the footage and so this one has been sitting in the box since then probably about a month or so in so um it pretty much was good to go and i do think it did help that i did co-wash the wig before the application but again all you had to do was bump the ends i did not apply any product to the ends if you want to you can apply a serum or you know whatever you choose Now we're going to go in and work our magic with the baby hair. I'm not sure if you can tell but I did thin it out using that pull method and it made it super thin which makes it perfect for sideburns. What you do not want is super thick clumpy sideburns. I know I've had those in the past but again we're in 2029 and we are going for a slay flawless from start to finish. So I think this definitely looks a lot better. Now definitely go in with a powder if you find that your lace is not matching your skin as flawlessly as it should or of course you can even go a step further and actually tint the lace for me I like to make sure that the sideburns are not longer than the lobe of my ear so now that everything is done I'm gonna add that scarf again and just let everything melt and come together and then we'll be back with the final results voila absolutely gorgeous i'm going to buff out the hairline with a little bit of foundation powder and i just use the excess that is already sitting on my foundation brush and we are good to 
go again this one is a side part wig so definitely check it out in that way as well also if you do baby hair kind of comb it or brush it out you guys can see forming it with the mousse helps it to kind of the hair to go in the direction you want it to go and kind of permanently swoops it if that makes any sense but you don't want it to look like it's like gelled or paste down to your skin so kind of comb it out or brush it out um, so it has a more soft effect and that's pretty much it So if you haven't already, be sure to check out OMG Her Hair. Links to this wig are in the description box. And of course, this one is not stiff at all. No stiff bobs in 2020. Thank you guys so much for watching. Don't forget to like, subscribe, share this video with your friends. And as always, I'll see you in the next one. Smooches!